Hi everybody, welcome back to the Kid Friendly Video Channel. We're having some good fun making the, the cars in the Demolition Derby. This is Taco from Cars 3. We made him out of another uh, old car we had. You can watch that video up here, click the link and it'll take you right to it. And this is High Impact. We made them the other day. Even though we have the original High Impact right in the box, I decided to make the car before I bought this package. And there is Jimbo. I'm gonna really have fun making Jimbo. Not quite sure how or what I'm gonna use. I might use a mater, I'm not sure. But I really have to smash the back of him and see it. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, if you're watching a lot of videos, you know that we're taking, custom car taking cars from Pixar cars and custom painting them with colors that people recommend. Like there's Dusty from Plains. He's uh, uh, painted fabulous Doc Hudson colors. And there's a Zebra Mater, Zebra from Miles Axelrod, Zebra Chick Hicks. And there is the Hulk from Leakless. And of course there's Rainbow Fillmore. And we've got a whole bunch of them back here. This is a uh, Miss Fritter painted Rainbow Miss Fritter on one side and Zebra Miss Fritter on the other side. Now these are all recommended by you guys, the fans. Uh, Spider McQueen was my idea. I wanted to make a real original Spider-Man McQueen because some people kind of like that sort of thing. Look at that, it's pretty cool. And there's Flo with her Halloween costume on. The scary ones are made for Halloween. There's a Halloween Mater, Scary McQueen, and look at Frank. He's all painted up with this black, gloss black, and red big combine harvester thing. Now, the other yesterday I painted Fred gold, of course, everyone loves Fred, and I painted Lightning McQueen, Primer McQueen again. So now we have another Primer McQueen. People like him. These cars are for sale on eBay if you're interested. There's a link down there. It'll take you right to eBay. You can buy any of these cars. Well, I've only got a few up there so far, but I'll have them more up later. And um, what I did was one person wanted me to paint Ringo as a bumblebee paint color. So I looked it up, and sure enough, I can do that. I'm going to do him today, bumblebee. And one guy wants this guy in uh, John from Fast and Furious. So I'm going to paint him jet black right now, and I'm gonna paint this guy yellow first, and then put some black stripes on it as a bumblebee. Okay, so let's get our paint set up. Okay, the first one we're gonna paint is Wingo. So I have to get some yellow paint and some orange paint mixed together to give me a, a brighter, um, kind of a brighter yellow for the bumblebee color. Let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to it just to give it some color. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks like the color of a bumblebee. What do you think? Okay, let's take um, our beautiful Wingo here and paint them bumblebee yellow. See how that turns out. Gotta be very careful around the windows. And I'll put his lights on later, his headlights. I'll paint them on gray. Cover the whole car in bumblebee color. And then we'll come back and put the black stripes on. I may have to let this dry, put an extra coat on. So if you're following along, you know we make lots of these videos and they're very successful, people love them. So I, I started listing them on eBay. If you wanna buy them, just go to the link down there and you can buy the cars. Um, they're one of a kind, obviously. And they belong to this video, the video series. So you'll always have a, a record of it uh, being made. They're not going anywhere. Okay, now the back. Let's see if I can get the whole wing painted. This is a pretty good recommendation. Thanks to the guy who recommended it. Um, I appreciate that. He said, do a Wingo and Bumblebee. I said, what's Bumblebee? So I looked it up and sure enough, there's an actually car color Bumblebee. Okay, I'm gonna leave this dry and we'll come back when it's dry and put another coat on. See if I can brighten it up a little bit, okay? Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes, put another coat on. Okay, that's almost dry. And what I did was I mixed up a little more paint now this is a bit too orangey for me, so I mixed up some a little blend of yellow and orange with a little tiny speck of black, just to give me this nice yellow color that looks more like a bumblebee, in my opinion. I'm not sure how it's gonna look at home on the video, but this, to me, looks a bit more yellowish than the orange color I put on the first time. Okay, so let's try the second coat and see how it goes on. Looking good so far. I like using these vice grips to hold the car, that way my fingers don't get too covered with paint. If you're watching these videos, you see sometimes my fingers are a lot, you know, kind of messy from all this painting, but it washes off, it's just water paint, so it doesn't hurt. Some of the cars, like I said, are already listed on eBay, only about four or five of them so far. So I'll probably, I think there's six there, gold, gold colored um, Fred is there now, and Primer McQueen. They're expensive, but there's only one of a kind. If you're interested, just buy one or buy the whole bunch if you want to. Quite a collection. 
Actually, I'm trying to kind of hoping to keep them. So if somebody wants it, they can have them. But if they don't want them, just leave them there, and I'll keep them myself because I'll use them in other videos. It's not hard to make up stories for these cars. I'm still planning on or counting on a Cars 4 coming out in a few years' time. So you keep an eye out for that preview. I'm sure Lightning McQueen will be there somehow, whether it'll be the race team leader for Cruiser Mirrors, or he'll be all fixed up like Jackson Storm with the new new um, style eraser, high tech, wind tunnel trained, and he'll be just as good as Jackson Storm. And who knows, even though they said he's getting kind of old, I don't want to see lightning disappear because he's such a good, uh, everyone loves Lightning McQueen. This looks better, folks. I may have to come back down in a little while, put a third coat on, but this came really nice. There, that looks pretty good. A bit, so I'll let it dry for a while and put another coat on to make it nice and bumblebee color. Okay, that's been a while. I know what? I'm gonna put another coat on just to see how it turns out. This bumblebee has to be nice, bright yellow. I have a little bit of paint left over there, so hopefully it covers it pretty nice. And it is covering it really nice. I hope it's uh, exactly what the guy wanted when he said bumblebee. Make sure if you're watching this video, you know who you are. Just uh, send a comment and say thanks because uh, I enjoyed making it too, and I hope it's exactly what you requested. I'm getting, I'm trying to get a lot of the requests out. People are requesting all sorts um, of different cars, and some I can do, some I can't. The other car I just mentioned a minute ago, I said John from the Fast and Furious, Dom from the Fast and Furious. It's going to be the next one I'm going to do as soon as I get this guy. Let him dry. Then I'll paint it on jet black. So this co this is covering really good. Third coat. I'm not sure. I might paint the top. Of the, I might paint this spoiler black. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to decide in a few minutes. Time when this paint dries. And then I'll put black stripes on the hood and one stripe down the back. I hope that's what they want. I'm not sure yet. I'll look it up again. Well, there. That's all I'm putting on that guy. This is so far Bumblebee Wingo. Good choice. I'll come back and put the. Uh, the stripes on when this dries really good. Okay guys, while Wingo is drying with his yellow paint, I'm going to get the black paint and put the first coat on Dom, which is actually Snot Rod, from Fast and Furious. Let's get the paint set up now. Okay, this is just gloss black, so this should be pretty easy. There's lots of paint there. Like I said, these are the hobby paint you pick up at the hobby store. They're very cheap and they wash and clean up pretty easily. So here we're going to start painting Snot Rod Black. Now somebody suggested this a long time ago and I didn't know who Dom was because I, don't, I didn't watch that show. So if I screw up, make sure you correct me in the comment section because I don't quite know who the cars are in the Fast and Furious. But you guys obviously watched them all. And I think I'll paint the whole front black because it's probably a blacked out charger. I don't know what Snot Rod is. But that is coming really nice folks, I gotta admit. Already I love the black color. Good suggestion folks. I'm gonna leave the tail lights red if I can get away with it. If I can pull that off, I'll be laughing. Okay, oh yeah, it's gonna be tight. Yeah, and the license plate, I'll leave that hopefully not painted. And I'll put a little black strip right along here. Whoop. Oh, I just almost took the whole red light out, but I'll leave it on just to get there. See it? Okay, good. I'm gonna leave the back alone. Okay, now the sides. I'll probably put two coats on this too, I'm not quite sure. I'll leave this in for a while. But it looks really black now, so it looks nice. I'm not going to touch the engine because the engine's awesome. It's a big, big block with the supercharger on top. It's huge. Probably has over 600 horsepower. I'm not sure, you guys probably know the answer to that, not me. How many horsepower does Dom's charger have? Look it up and put it in the comment section because I do read the comments, as you know. And I try to answer most of the comments. Some of them I don't because uh, they don't say anything. They're just little comments. Some I delete because some people get mad at the, what I'm doing. One guy was really mad I didn't paint the car he wanted. So I'm sorry about that, buddy. But I can only do what I can do. And let's see. Oh, yeah, that's good. Another good suggestion. This is it. All right, thanks very much for suggesting I do this car black because I had no idea what to do with it. I left all the uh, Lincoln Road hazards. They're all primed few weeks ago now and I didn't do anything with them but I might list this one on eBay too um, it's just as easy to put on eBay than to have people ask me if I'm selling it or not so if you want to buy it it's right there uh, the link will be down below too you can find it looking under 
seller's other options, other auctions I mean, you can find it there. I got, I think there's six there now, like I said before, so. That's pretty good, folks. Just left a little bit left of the engine hood now, and I'll be done with the first coat. And it's gonna be tight right here. Very tight squeeze right in there. There, wow. First coat, gloss black. Let's leave that dry, and I'll put the black stripes on Wingo now to make the bumblebee look. Okay, here goes. I hope this, like I said, I hope it's what you wanted. I don't exactly know what to do more. Oh, I'm gonna put stripes down the roof too. Right down here, look. Well, I could have done a better job of that, but I don't know how I can correct it now, that's for sure, it's done. Well, I'm gonna leave that, um, I'll do his tailpipe too, black. I'm gonna leave that just like it there, this is Bumblebee Wingo. I'm gonna leave him alone, and we'll come back and put another coat on on Dom. Okay, it's kind of dry now. I gotta admit, I'm not very happy with how Bumblebee turned out with the black and the yellow. I like the yellow color, but uh, if you want me to repaint it, I'll start from scratch. But uh, back to um, the Charger, I'm gonna put a little bit of black, a little more black just to gloss it up a little bit more, and that'll be it. Okay, folks, that's what I'm gonna do today is put them out. Um, probably put them on eBay, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Um, I'll get a few pictures of these right now. Hang on a sec. Um, please leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think of these guys. Actually, this guy I think came better. Uh, Bumblebee kind of screwed up. So, thanks again, folks. Thanks for watching and keep your suggestions and comments coming. I really appreciate it and have a great day.